everyone, it's Emma here and I thought it was about time I updated you on the bunnies. Um, it, this is a really really sad update and I've been dreading making it. Um, yeah, because it's just so sad. So, as you can see I only have Hector and Theo here. I'm not going to keep you wondering, I'm just going to tell you the awful news. That we lost Tinkerbell, she did pass away. She passed away exactly a month ago today. So, it's really difficult talking about this and... Yeah, so sorry if I sound quiet and stuff. So I don't want to go into a lot of detail because it's just upsetting. So I'm only going to talk briefly about it. So if you watched my last video, you'll know that Tinkerbell was going in for a dental operation. The reason behind that was because she'd stopped eating and she'd been losing quite a bit of weight and we thought that the reason she was losing weight was because of her teeth. Because they'd grown too long and she had some really bad spurs. That was actually one of the reasons we thought because well I'll tell you the story basically just shut my door Tinkerbell had been losing weight and my rabbits had been on a hay only diet so of course we thought that must be the reason there's no other reason it could be so I started introducing pellets back into her diet and she did start putting on a bit of weight but then she started losing it again but I discovered the rabbits had worms so again we thought well that must be the obvious reason why she's losing weight because she's got worms so we wormed her she started putting weight on again, but then I noticed that she wasn't eating and she was still kind of skinny, like she still was really bony so of course we thought this must be the last option, this must be the reason she's so thin you know, we didn't really think it would be anything else, we thought it must be that reason so she went and had a dental operation and I was so worried about her and she came through it fine and I was really really happy um, so we went to pick her up and um, she was great, she was eating again, it, she'd come through really, really good, and that evening I took her down to my grandma's evening, I went there for tea, and just kept an eye on her, and she was still eating, eating hay and everything, and she hadn't been able to do that before the operation, so it was really amazing. Um, but the following day, <laughs> the following day, I noticed that she wasn't eager to come and see me in the morning the other two were but she wasn't so I like checked on her and made sure she was okay she wasn't really wanting to eat that much she kind of wanted to distance herself from these two rabbits but I thought well I'm not surprised she's acting like that she's just had a dental operation her mouth bound to be sore and I offered her some pellets and she did eat them so I thought well it must just be her mouth she's just not that eager to eat because it hurts but her pain relief hadn't yet worn off so she, it's not like she could have more so yeah so anyway we thought we'll just, just be hurting a little bit but I'd already planned that day to take Hector and Theo to a rabbit jumping practice and I was thinking should I go should I not but we thought it would be good if I did take the other two because it would give Tinkerbell a chance to have some space from them because she really didn't really want them near her she seemed to be just hiding in that little house um, and I also thought it would give my mum a chance to be able to monitor what she was eating, if she was weeing and pooing, and it would just benefit her in the long run. So I took these two to the jumping practice, but the whole time I couldn't enjoy myself because I was really, really worried about Tinkerbell. And I texted my mum and made sure that Tink was okay. And my mum said she wasn't eating much, but she was eating banana. So as long as she was eating, we knew that it wasn't too serious because we thought, well, so we thought, um, because if they stop eating, they like... They go into like blow, what's it called, stasis or something. Um, but she was still eating so we knew it wasn't that so we thought well it can't be too serious. But when I got home I went to see her. She wasn't really interested when she saw Hector and Theo. She didn't really want to spend that much time with them. She just wanted to be by herself. She didn't really want to spend time with anyone. But I took her inside and me and my mum thought we need to make sure she's got more food in her because she was only eating a tiny bit. So we started syringe feeding her, we mushed up some pellets with water and I made two mixes actually, I made another mix with fenugreek crunchies and banana and then there was the mix with pellets and water. So I tried to get her to um, consume as much as possible and she took to the syringe feeding really really well so that made me happy, I was thinking this is great, she's accepting food, it must just be her mouth, it must just be hurting when she has the solid food but as she's happily taking this soft syringe mix then she'll be okay but I thought I won't put her outside tonight because I want to keep an extra eye on her so that evening I kept her inside I got this little comfy bed for her 
and she was nice and cosy in there. Um, but she tried to get out the bed at one point and she couldn't walk properly. She kind of stumbled a bit and um, I started getting really, really worried then but by this time it was like 7 o'clock, 7, 8 o'clock at night. I was thinking, oh my goodness, what is going on? So I checked her over and I thought, this is not good but then all of a sudden um, she just wouldn't drink or eat anymore. And um, I thought, what am I going to do? Um, so this is where I really, I'm really struggling to talk about this, sorry. So I went and got Hector and Theo, put, her with them, put them with her, just so they could spend time with her, see if she would be any better, but she wasn't. And uh, she started peeing blood, and she just couldn't lift her body up, and it happened really, really, really quickly. guys so then I had to um, make a decision whether to keep her comfy or get her to the vets but I knew that if I took her to the vet she wouldn't make it because she was really really weak Guys, I'm so sorry. But yeah, she's really weak. And um, I just had to make her really, really comfy with the other two because I knew she would not survive a journey to the vet. She just couldn't even lift herself. And um, we didn't think anything was wrong because when she was... Well, we thought something was wrong, but we thought it was her mouth because when she wasn't eating, she had a dent up the day before. Of course, you're not going to think of anything of it. So you just syringe feed her and she was eating. So we thought she was fine then. But then when this happened, we knew she wasn't fine. And um, I was careful, and I kept her in with the other bunnies up until 22, 12 at night, and that's when she passed away. She started um, kind of flopping about a bit, so I ran up to her and I scooped her up, made her comfy. The other bunnies were with her, and she passed her in my arms, and it all happened really, really, really quickly. And I uh, really, really miss her. And yeah, we let the other these two bunnies grieve for her. We put her in the shed at night with them so they could know that she's gone and yeah that's what happened we lost her and so because of the weight loss and everything I really don't think that she'd lost weight because of her teeth or the worms or the hay on the diet of course we thought they were the reasons at the time but because of the way she acted peeing blood and everything we think it was kidney disease, we've looked into it and we're pretty sure it was kidney disease now and you know if she hadn't if she had made it through the operation fine and had been fine now but still wasn't putting weight on then we would have gone and had blood tests done and made sure that whatever it was would be sorted but of course we didn't have time to do that because it all happened so so quickly after the dental operation and I feel kind of guilty that on Saturday I were, took the other two bunnies jumping because now I'm thinking maybe they should have been with her but then when I think about it really she didn't really want to be with them she just wanted to hide in that house she needed peace and these two are so active they would have probably just been climbing all over her in fact they were doing that when I brought them in when she was ill they started climbing on her so I had to stop them from doing that and um, they did eventually calm down and they sat with her and Theo washed her as she was ill and that was really really sweet and they both snuggled up with her um, so it was really nice so they were there when she passed away and I guess it was kind of good that they weren't with her in the daytime because we were able to monitor what she did and didn't eat and she was able to get a bit of peace without being climbed on when she wasn't feeling well because of course that wasn't nice. Um, so yeah, I, I really wanted to update you I'm really sorry that I kind of like start crying a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's really hard to talk about. As you can see, I really, really miss her and um, it's really hard talking about her. But... I just wanted to let you know because it's not fair keeping you waiting and loads of people have been asking. So yeah, Hector's just over there. Um, so yeah, guys, thanks for watching. And I'd really appreciate if you'd thumbs up this video just to show your support for Tink, show how much you loved her. And, um, yeah, 
I know it's really sad and you might feel like disliking, but that would upset me more if you did dislike the video. I'd rather you liked it. What are you doing? See so, yeah, thanks for watching. And yeah.